Hey guys, it's Jacqueline over here at homeschoolhangout.xyz and we are talking about what extracurriculars my soon-to-be senior will be doing next year as a homeschooler. If you like these types of videos, do me a favor, thumbs up, like, subscribe, where we're just talking about what we're doing with our kids. I make lots of other videos sharing resources, California homeschool code, all of those things. Make sure to stick around. And this is also part of a collab of extracurriculars and extras people are doing next year. And it is hosted by uh, Devine from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. And at the end of this video, not now, stick around. There will be a playlist down in the notes and watch everybody's videos and see what different ideas look like. Okay, so up front... My youngest nerd pud will be a senior. She is a lifelong homeschooler. And we've started talking about what all her extra non-academics is. So on one hand, she has pretty much finished most of her academic work other than college classes. So on that side, we're pretty good. She's done all of the economics, all of the requirements. So... When we start looking around at what all her extras are, in high school, your time looks different. So one of her extras is a part-time job. Call it work experience, call it whatever you want, but one of her extracurriculars is a part-time job to save money for her first year of adulthood. Uh, one of her other um, extras will be, hopefully, her driver's permit. Uh, she's finishing up driver's ed, and then we will start doing the training for her to get her license. Other kids, we've done it a little earlier, but... This one, we're just getting around to it now. Another extra curricular is she's looking at, at least over the summer, doing Coursera and possibly the project management certificate. Through our library, you get three or four months free. So if she can start out at 18 with a project management certificate, it'll kind of give her an idea of what the job is and if that's something she wants to do. But it'll also be something to help her get a leg up. Um, we have talked about in previous times about doing drama or uh, choir for her senior year. But I think now that we're here, she just doesn't really want to devote that time. She would rather be doing all her senior leadership activities and everything that comes with that. She is part of a senior class through our homeschool um, support group, meaning she's graduating from my school, but they all still get together and do senior activities. And that will be a huge part of her extra time. But yes, um, as we're going into this different stage of life, her extracurriculars look a little different. There will be more parties, senior parties. There might be an extra Bible study. We Senior leadership will make that decision they do every year. This stuff getting ready for graduation. Another thing that is almost like a subject in our house is scholarships. She will be looking at scholarships and applying for those, hopefully. Um, we also always do some amount of volunteer work. We do a lot of volunteering um, when the, we have the opportunity with, with Pregnancy Care Center. She does a lot of volunteering with church. And that is something that is an extracurricular my kids have had as young as you can remember. There's always something they can do to volunteer somewhere, somehow, sometime. Um, but yeah, this year, all of her extracurriculars, extra subjects are really foundational things to help her move into adulthood um, with as much success as possible. So right now, she still needs to find a summer job. The other thing is there will probably be small extracurriculars, meaning like, oh, I want to do this project with these friends. I want to do... You know, when they were little, they did a play for a season. Things like that. But as far as like choirs or extra classes, like drawing classes, things like that, she's not really looking at any of those this year. She might change her mind over the summer and want to do something. But as of right now, um, it, it's a lot of the practical stuff. And that way she has time for socialization too. This is kind of her last year as a kid. And we want to encourage her to enjoy that while preparing herself as best as possible. So it's going to be really, really interesting. As my kids have gotten older, 
there've been some times where it's like, they'll do uh, an event like robotics, high school robotics or choir that they really um, have more freedom to do as high schoolers. But she is looking at her schedule very closely, wanting to make sure she has plenty of time with her ki her family, plenty of time with her friends, and, you know, kind of what she wants to look at next. So that's what we're doing. What are you doing for extracurriculars for next year? Do you know? Do you need ideas? If so, let me know. Oh, I forgot. She is in a Bible study, too. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.